The Interior Department is asking community pantry organizers to coordinate with barangays to be able to reach senior citizens in their homes. We have Undersecretary Jonathan Malaya joining us over the phone to discuss this with us. Good afternoon, uh, Yusek. Could you tell us? Could you tell us about your suggestions and how will this work precisely uh, for senior citizens? Yes, uh, thank you for having me, Charles. Well, I, I, we made this suggestion uh, precisely because of the concern of many that they have seen senior citizens lining up. And some of the senior citizens would line up as early as 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning. And uh, some of them, you know, uh, might suffer heat stroke in the middle of the day and all of that, no? So uh, we thought that they could coordinate closely with the barangays and request the help of the barangays so that it will now be the barangays who will distribute uh, the goods uh, to the senior citizens because the senior citizens are known to the officials of the barangay. All right, so just to clarify, this suggestion to do house-to-house -house is just for the elderly, at least for now, no? Or are you also considering maybe applying this to community pantries in general so that uh, more and more people can get, can get uh, access to their goods? You know, Charles, um, community pantry is a private and uh, voluntary effort, no? So we don't want to impose more regulations on them, no? Um, the way it's working now, we're in, um, they have this uh, goods in front of a house and people can come in and get what they need that, and people can contribute based on what uh, is their status in life. I think it uh, works, no? It's already working. Uh, we just have this uh, small problem with senior citizens, no? Uh, pr uh, precisely because of what happened the last week, no? When we had a fatality in one of the community pantries. So um, it would be best if the uh, community pantry organizers would work to, with the barangays so that our senior citizens don't need to line up anymore. And uh, I am sure that the barangays would be very much willing to assist, you know, uh, identify those barangays and even be the ones to handle distribution of the food stuff to the senior citizens. Right. Yusek, I have to ask, do you think the LGUs can still manage to do this, go house to house, uh, given that they're already having a hard time distributing ECQ cash aid uh, as it is? Uh, no, uh, the ECU cash aid is uh, proceeding very well. In fact, in Metro Manila, 70% uh, of the beneficiaries have already received their cash aid, and the deadline is still on May 15. So uh, this is only a special arrangement for the senior citizens. No, because we don't want... because. Precisely because, number one, senior citizens are not supposed to leave the homes. So if they cannot leave the homes, then we should find a way to bring the food to them. But, you know, uh, Charles, this is only a suggestion, no? Mm -hmm. uh, we don't, as I said, this is a, the community pantry is a voluntary and private initiative, and we don't want to regulate it. Uh, but given the situation where we, when we had a fatality last, uh, last week, it would be best if the community pantry organizers explore uh, more ways of uh, bringing the goods to the senior citizens so as not to put the lives of the senior citizens at risk. Right. Yusek, I understand that there is a need to balance things uh, uh, in light of what happened a few days ago. But then how do you think Barangay should help ensure that community pantries don't become super spreader events in themselves uh, given the obvious difficulty in policing the crowds? Yes, that's why um, we urge all community pantry organizers to keep their pantries to the community. Meaning, uh, let's go back to the essence of what a community pantry is. Uh, when we make uh, calls to um, the general population, for example, when we make announcements to cover the entire Metro Manila and even neighboring provinces, then you should expect a large crowd. But if we are limiting it only to your neighbors, uh, limiting it only to your immediate community. And if you coordinate with your local government unit, no, and, uh, and, I'm, and the barangays have been very supportive and are willing to deploy their barangay tanods, then we can have a more organized and systematic distribution of help. Right, Yusek, I understand that there's also difficulty when the private crosses into the public. So uh, what is your plan for residents who cross barangays or cities to line up for community pantries elsewhere? Uh, I understand that certain LGUs have uh, started coming up with their own internal guidelines. Are you thinking of doing the same? Um, well, since this is a private and voluntary initiative and it's a, it's a homegrown uh, grassroots um, event, we wouldn't want to go beyond what Secretary Anya already said. Uh, Secretary Anios was very clear.
Number one, just coordinate with your local government units and barangays so that assistance can be provided. Number two, let's go back to the essence of what a community pantry is, which is helping your neighborhood, helping your barangay. No? Don't go beyond that, no, because there is another pantry covering that barangay as well. Or if you want, you can set up another pantry in that area, okay, to cover those people there. But beyond that, we wouldn't want to um, interfere anymore. Uh, I think the local government units are doing a good job. Uh, Quezon City, for example, has issued their guidelines. So we will allow, we will allow the different local government units to uh, come up with their own um, guidelines because uh, these are they because they know what's the situation on the ground. They are closer to the ground and they know what their constituents need.